This another four player fix card game which is being played with my subscribers. The orange player has already sent the alliance request in my way, so let's accept it. And the same thing for the black player. I'm wondering which continent I will be going for. And I think let's settle for let's settle for Africa, I guess. Let's see if the black player mo moves out. And yes, the blue player sent the alliance request my way as well. A hard to him as well. He is Grandmaster ranked player, make sure to check his YouTube channel out, GM Harris Risk. Then the orange player is a Grandmaster ranked player as well, a well known player by the community Parlox. And finally, the black player is a new player, I think I haven't played with him before, and his intermediate ranked player called the Red Mayman. And we'll see. So it looks like the blue player is going for. Australia and the orange player for South America, so the black player is going for Europe and the blue player is going for Australia. So that's really good for me, let's... I think I will wait for one more turn before I capture us, I do not want to weak in case someone attacks me or so. And let's send a thumbs up to the blue player, hopefully he doesn't get eliminated first this time, as in the last two games I played with him, he got the fourth place so so far he has been on a really bad losing streak so hopefully he achieves better than the fourth place this time let's root for the blue player guys but i mean but i mean if there will be opportunity to eliminate him as the fourth player then obviously i will probably go for it i think we would like to end up in the three player situation as soon as possible and it looks like the orange player wants the black player to move out to south america and should I let the orange player to move out or not? That's the question. And I think I will just play like this and fortify like this so <laughs> neither of them will get. Sorry attacker territory, <laughs> okay, I mean I, I especially did that on purpose, captured Africa so... Yes alright, the blue player protects me so I really like it. Yes alright, I will move the troops out. The blue player, I mean I want to prevent the orange and black players capturing the continents as long as possible. And come on, don't you wanna roll my army? Come on, don't play like that, man. Come on, come on. Can, why can't you just cannot move into North America and just don't guard the borders against me? But I think I will rather not risk it and just let the orange player do so. I mean, diplomacy is another part of the game, so if the orange player wants to do it, then he can go for it. Let's send a heart to him. I mean, I want to be, I want to appear as, as a very good ally for all of the players, so that their intention wouldn't be to eliminate me first, and that I will survive as long as possible, which would, which could lead me off winning the game, if I diplomacy is very good, and the orange player moves out. Yeah, let's send a thumbs up to him. I mean, I mean, it, I could have still not done that, but I mean. Why to take that risk? Why to take that risk of the orange player potentially crushing my troops when I can absolutely avoid it? And now the orange player really appreciates my alliance request, so he doesn't even guard, so that really worked out well. And let's do an equal split for now, since I do not really want to irritate anyone too much. And let's do a fortification choice over here. I mean, I want to appear as an equal ally for all of the players, so even though the orange player doesn't leave any troops on my border, it will be really obvious for other players that I'm in a strong alliance with him if I did the same. And so far I'm not really sure which player I want to target, so this is why I'm currently play like this. Will the orange player capture North America? Or will he not? Let's see what the black player's actual plans are. He trades an asset and will he attack anyone or will he just turtle like others did so far as well? I think he strengthens his borders from what it looks like right now but will he do something else and i think he's just moving out from north america and let's just play with poker face guys let's do equal troop splits on both of my armies and let's just capture our territory over here and end my turn i think the blue player might really expand to asia and the orange player might really expand to north america but i don't know i mean the orange player could potentially prevent the blue player from capturing asia and it looks like the blue player is invading black in that case it might make the most sense for us to team up on black do i have a set i do not and i think the blue player should really do the blitz now and now definitely for better odds but all right he doesn't invade him let's see if the orange player does 
I think if the orange player doesn't invade black, then maybe I won't do that. Well, alright. Nobody <laughs> of them really invaded the black player. Uh, so I think I will just capture the territories of once or so. I don't know. Let's just strengthen my armies. Let's attack some territories over here. And let's do it like this, guys. And I didn't see what the black player has just sent me, but maybe it was thumbs down. I don't know, but I think it will be most probable to expect that based on my based on my territory captures. And the blue player is weakening the black player as well. I think when the blue player started weakening the black player, he should have really finished it and invaded the black player into Europe. As now the black player has just still received his true bonus. So that was a bit weird. So unless he was pretty confident that either me or the orange player will invade him, but I'm as the African player sharing a lot of borders with the black player and I don't really want to do that. The orange player actually takes down some troops of a blue player. And I think maybe it will be the blue player to eliminate first again. I think I think that might be his really costly mistake. And what? Why the black player is attacking me? He should have really seen that the orange player is seeking to eliminate the blue player, but now he wants he wants to make it 50-50 between me and him, so I mean that's up to him. I mean, the bl I mean the blue player wants to eliminate him and the orange player will probably attack anyone to get to the three player situation. So I think the black player is just digging the grave for himself, in my opinion. I think... <laughs> I think I look into the situation this way, but I do not have a set so. So that's a bit unfortunate. Let's do it like this and... I don't want to weaken myself too much. Well, actually, sh maybe I should have in s well. well, it would have been really weakened me, and in that case, maybe the orange player will have taken me out. But let's see if the orange player attacks black. Unfortunately, I didn't have a set. So let's see. And yes, 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 yes. I was doubt doubting for a bit, and since the orange player helps me out, I think in the three player endgame, I will be teaming up with him and let's send the blue player to attack the black player as well let's do it like this and that's all right and can the blue player finish him off in that case if the blue player helps me out as well then i'm not sure in which alliance i will stick to but if the blue player ends up blocking his army then i think it probably makes sense to stick in the orange player's alliance and I mean the orange player helped me out at the first place, so I think maybe we sh maybe I should stick in the orange player side to be loyal. To show him some appreciation. But I think I should really look in the position, guys. Let's see what orange player wants to do. And <laughs> he looks like he's attacking the blue player. And what we could do. I think we could potentially play like that, guys. Let's see how it goes. I mean, maybe not the best idea, but we're going to see how that turns out to be. And let's just see how it goes. I mean, the orange player was quite stronger, so this why I attacked a bunch of territories of him, but at the same time I want to appear being a good ally, so I indicate him what we could potentially trap the blue player in Australia. And let's tell orange to attack my territory if he needs to. Thumbs up to the orange player and good thing the blue player didn't invade me but maybe he's going all the way around. I'm not sure guys. And yes, he didn't. Yeah, I think he prevents the orange player from... Or go back, go back, yes. And yes. Yes, thumbs up. I think the orange player can capture North America right now. And the blue player will just simply be trapped. I think that was really a mistake for him to play like this. Let's actually capture a territory over here and do the troop split like this over here as well. And let's see how it goes. The blue player is out, but maybe he could still get good manual rolls to invade me. That was really tempting in game for sure. He just attacks one troop territory and he breaks out. I think maybe I will take Australia and but let's see how many troops will I have. I think maybe I will just... Maybe I just take Australia from him. Yeah, I think. And he will invade the orange player. I think it's for me much more... I should be much more careful having even three borders. While the orange player only has one border. So this is why I think I'm unleashing... The wave for the blue player. Nothing personal, orange. 
And let's see what the blue player is going to do. Will he break through both of our continents? And he is going to break through both of the Americas and will probably break into Africa as well. But now he leaves me Africa for myself. And now let's see what the orange player is going to do. I mean, I attacked blue, so technically I didn't really betray him. But also it depends from his perspective, from, from his point of view, how he looked that move. Maybe he feels like I thrown him under the bus. And is he taking him out or... I've got 11. Is it worth for me to take or it isn't? Should I go for it or I shouldn't, guys? It's really tempting and... Well, maybe let's do it and see how it goes. I'm, I'm really wondering in this situation a lot what I should do and let's see how it goes. But maybe I made a mistake actually. I lost a lot of troops in that and the orange players for the three troops army is big and it looks like we're about the same amount of troops the balance of the game wise and maybe it was a mistake but let's see let's hope to get the attacker's advantage on this army and i've got a bit of the advantage and let's just capture a bunch of territories over here and after that we will see how this game actually goes should i capture this territory as well or not maybe it would make the orange player harder if i don't so let's just do this guys let's see all right he gets only one troop advantage and maybe he wins the game but i mean i have a set i'm in the cards lead so this is what i like it and i think i'm happy what i didn't capture south america as he could have been really lined up to, to capture lots of continents and it might have been hard for me to break them all so let's see guys what i could actually do Let's trade in a set and alright, I have a wild card which is going to help me out a lot for sure. And let's play like this guys. Like this I guess. And I think it might be a victory for me, I think I actually maybe made the right decision. I mean I have a wild card so, so I think it will really favor me but on the other hand the orange player is still left with even 16 territories which is really good for him. But if he doesn't have a set then I think it's totally the game for me. It does have, and he does have a tantrum set, which is unfortunate, but I have a wild card, so I think it should be a victory for me. So I think I'm really happy that I didn't prolong this game, but we're about to see how it actually is. And please fail, please fail that manual roll, and he makes it. Was so close, but that was so close, guys. And let's see, I think he has enough troops, unless he gets... Alright, he got a really good blitz roll in that. And let's see, alright, he wants to capture one more territory to decrease my territorial troop bonds by one. But by doing that he actually wasted a lot of troops, so that's really promising. He wanted me to prevent from getting one troop bonus, while he wasted even more, which is really good. And now I, th I think I will just go for continents. I think seven troops will be safe, and let's just go like this. I want to capture as many territory as many continents as possible and at the same time territories so the orange player would really struggle and i think let's maybe go for europe or africa i think maybe let's go for europe over here and what a bad that bad that was really some bad let's roll so i was losing a lot of troops and should i even i think no i think I think I will just fortify my four troops here, so it will be harder for the orange player to invade me into all of my continents. And I think I will be about to win this game, guys. So exciting! I think that was... It, I think it could have gone either way. I think it was really some sort of a big risk, but this way it goes into my favor, guys. And I really like it. For now, I think, right now I think I will just go for as many territories as possible. Just make sure there's no way he wins this game. Alright, I unfortunately lost that one. But let's capture as many territories as possible and I don't think he will be able to do anything even if he does have asset. But let's actually see guys. I will fortify my two troops army over here. And the orange player has a set, what an unexpected surprise. Let's see what he's able to do, but I think I will be the next person to trade an asset, so I think I am good. And the orange player invades me into Australia. And let's see if I get a good blood roll to invade him. It could really go into the orange player's favor. 
But let's see, let's hope for the best of luck, and I made it as well. And let's hope for a good mana roll to make him harder to invade me into my continents. But no, he gets a good one, so, and I think I will just leave his tro troops over here. The orange player has regaining some of his lead, and I do not have a set. So that's bad, so, but that was a really close endgame, one of the closest endgames I have been in a while. He goes for the territories and please waste those two troops, and no he didn't. I mean, that's not 100% blitz roll, but should I go for it? I think I will go for it, and let's see, it's even 93% chance, and yes, I make it, I think that was mathematically the best decision that I came up with. And that's on my turn. The orange player is getting even 7 troops in his turn, so that's so bad. I have a set, but it's, it's only a 6 troop set, and if the orange player has a set at uh, 3 cards, then I think he wins the game. Let's trade in a set, and I think I should go like this, I think that's the best path for me. Let's see if I even invade him, that could be close, and wow. And I should really win the mana roll over here, or over here. And I didn't, I think the orange player wins this game, guys. He is in the territory's advantage, and he is in the cards advantage. If only he hadn't had a set at 3 cards, I would have won this game, guys, then. But that is a really epic game for sure. I just surrendered, good game, well played. That was a really amazing game, guys, one of the closest endgames I have ever seen.